Hi guys, welcome to day 22 of my daily challenge to train and learn. Today is Monday the 24th of January 2022. The training for today is 150 Navy SEAL burpees with three squats in between. Uh, and it's quite painful today for some reason, but we'll tug on three. Um, plenty to go after this. The lesson for today, um, probably a lot of people have heard of or uh, read some of the books from Jocko Willink, um, ex-Navy SEAL. Um, but for those that haven't, yeah, he's quite a quite a brilliant Navy SEAL operator and then officer. Um, he's, he's written some really good books and leadership books and different things based on his time in the Navy SEALs and well worth a, a look and a read. Um, so one of the lessons that he, he goes on about quite a bit is to detach. Um, which is absolutely correct and, and he just simplifies it so well so detaching um, to look at the big picture basically so um, in in the tactical response group so you do you know we do jobs and we have three or four teams sometimes coming from different directions with different roles and um, you know might be assaulting the house and taking out a car and and um, blocking a car park and things like that um, all to do with bad guys with weapons and lots of moving parts. Um, it's quite easy, and, and the same in training, it's quite easy to get up the front, you know, you can be on your gun and you can be in charge of all the action that's happening right in front of you. Quite easy to get caught up in all that action and, and what's happening with your team, um, with your head down in the weeds doing the work, and, uh, and not overly consider the big picture that's going on with all the other teams moving around you. So where you might be, where sometimes guys get caught up in the weeds, they'll be looking at a couple of bad guys and they'll run off and chase another bad guy, which could which could be dealt with by another team. So um, detaching in those sort of scenarios is is actually a physical thing we found is, is the best way to break out of the mold, break out of the weeds, is to actually take a step back, actually lift your head up and look around. So, um, and it's the same for any sporting teams or any business um, projects that you might be involved in. If you're, if you're heavily involved and you've got a lot of knowledge and you're really getting a lot of input, that's great. But every now and then remind yourself to sit back from the table, step back from where you are, stick your head up, look around the room, have a think about what the vision is, what the big picture is, what the other teams are doing. Are we overlapping? Um, could we use knowledge from someone else in the room, you know? So just that physical motion of stepping back even one or two paces back, head up, look around, and then once you've got a, a good um, feel for the big picture, then get back in and, and get into the fight. Um, so yeah, today's lesson is just that reminder to detach from, from the, the front line, from the front of the action every now and then. Make sure you've got the big picture concept and then get back into the action. Okay, that's it for today. I'll uh, see you tomorrow.